So now let's go and take a look at um, cube roots. Now, the main important thing we're looking at cube roots is we want to be able to identify, and I'll, I'll, do, I'll break this one down um, in two different ways, because I do, I, I know square roots, everybody, everybody's usually pretty familiar with square roots. They kind of remember the square roots. Cube roots, not so much. So I will give you the cubed numbers. What number multiplied, uh, or what number, let's do, let's just do the, f the main ones. Two times two times two is eight. Four times four times four is 64. Five times five times five is 125. And six times six times six is 216. Those are the main cube numbers that you guys are going to be using, all right? However, we can also, we can also do um, use our prime factorization. So let's do the prime factorization for this problem first. Yep. Listen. If you have a number, the main important thing is if you don't know if if again if you have a number and you're trying to take the square root, I would look into using the square numbers. If you're you have a number and you're trying to take the cube root. Use the cube numbers. But the main important thing, the main important thing is you guys know that you cannot take the cube root of 32. 32 is not a cube number, right? So therefore, there's two different ways you can do it. One way is to break this down by using our linear factorization. Justin, could you find a different seat, please? Do you guys see how 32 I broke down into 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? Do you guys see that? No? So I can break this down into the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then can I rewrite a to the fifth as just a times a times a times a? Again, this is the longer way, but I want to make sure you guys can see. If you break it down as a list of the prime factors, what you guys can see is now the cube root is saying, what number multiplied by itself three times? So I have three, I have two, and I have a. So therefore, I have two, a, and then what's still left under my radical that I couldn't circle? The cube root of 2 times 2, which would just be 4, and the cube root of a times a, which would be a squared. OK? But how did you get 5 twos? Because I broke it down. I broke it down into 8 times 4, 4 times 2, and 2 times 2. So therefore, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So you just multiply. This is what we call the prime factorization of the number. Okay. Now, that is, for those of you that do not want to write, 